Also tonight, innovation on the world stage. A Clovis North student science project leaves a lasting impression at the world's largest science fair, receiving the grand prize of $55,000. As our Justin Sacher introduces us to the sophomore whose invention had some judges saying it had the potential to be a global game changer when it comes to water and drought. Clovis North sophomore John Estrada built a camera that can help determine if plants should have more or less water. A quicker, more accurate um, way of assessing drought stress in plants. Estrada's winning science project went all the way to the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair, where he won the $5,000 first prize in plant sciences and the $50,000 Gordon E. Moore Award for positive outcomes for future generations. From Fresno, California, John Benedict Ayasas Estrada. Witnessing the damage brought about by drought in my agricultural community inspired me to help our farmers find a solution to this devastating problem. Water is precious here in the Central Valley. Although farmers can control exactly how much water plants get through tools like drip irrigation, knowing if crops are getting exactly the right amount is still something of a gray area. Estrada used machine learning and his camera to analyze small changes in the colors of a plant's leaves and temperature readings. You can tell how much water the plant is transpiring, so you can know if you need to water or if you don't need to water it. It's truly inspirational to so many students right now. This is such a big win for science in general. Clovis North teacher and science fair coordinator Kay Berry says projects are most successful when students choose a topic they're passionate about. And trying to couple that with something that is relevant to the valley here um, is what it's all about. The prize comes in the form of a scholarship. I want to use computer science to uh, help advance other fields of science like what I've been doing now. Justin Sacher, KC24, local news that matters.